One of the things that I've noticed in our current culture is that we're always inundated with feedback. You're blogging, you're putting up a Facebook post, you're on LinkedIn. People are always willing and able to give us their opinion. And you have to decide, what am I going to do with that? Especially if these are people that you don't even know, and yet they're offering their voice. We have to remember whether we're in a staff meeting, we're in a presentation, or we're on a sales team or we're going in to talk to a client and you have a teammate there observing the way that you're presenting, they're going to have their perspective. If your boss is sitting there and they're giving you your 90 day evaluation, they're going to have their perspective. And the truth of the matter is, is that part of that perspective is reality. It is their perception. And we have to decide what will we do with that. Are we going to chew the hay and spit out the sticks, as they say in Oklahoma where I grew up? Or you can choose to eat all of it. Maybe you choose to eat none of it. When we think about this in our presentation skills, I might add, if we don't invite feedback ever because we're afraid of it or because we think we don't need it, or possibly we just don't think about it, well, we don't grow. We can't go from point A to point B and become a better presenter. On the converse side, what happens when we are always asking for feedback and we become very full? Sometimes it can paralyze us to the point of we don't know what to do next. We don't know what to work on. We can choose what we want to keep. We can choose what we don't want to keep and realize that regardless, we do need some of it, even if it's just to hear it whether we do anything with it or not. And oh, by the way, through this entire video, I realized that I myself am giving you feedback.